our individual demand deposits, added together collectively as a nation, form the largest part of what's called the money supply. Let's begin by looking at some figures. In 2008, there was just over 57 billion rands worth of coin and banknotes in circulation. Physical cash money in hand around South Africa. Total demand deposits, money stored in current bank accounts, stood at 677 billion rand, about 12 times the amount of the cash in circulation. Cash and demand deposits added together form what is called M1 money, which totaled over 734 billion rand. Now, if we add in short and medium term deposits, that is, less liquid deposits that cannot usually be withdrawn immediately, like 30-day accounts to M1 money, we get M2 money. In 2008, short and medium term deposits totaled almost 808 billion rand. So adding this to M1, we had M2 money of over 1.5 trillion rand. Finally, to work out M3 money, which is all the money in the economy, we have to add long-term deposits to M2 money. Long-term deposits stood at over 352 billion rand in 2008. So the total M3 money supply in the economy stood at almost 1.9 trillion rand. As you can see, cash only forms a very small part of the total money supply in South Africa. Thinking back to what money actually does, which of these parts of the money supply, M1, M2 or M3, do you think relates most to the store of value function of money? Longer term deposits would earn more income, yeah. Yes, you'd be right in thinking that you'd earn more interest on longer term deposits. So therefore, longer term deposits would be a better store of value. 